So what are we doing today, babes? Um, we are going to the Hawker Centre in Singapore. I'm really excited because there's food there and that's what it's all about. So let's go. Wow, God. <laughs> so the Hawker Centre we're going to in Singapore is the one on Old Airport Road. It's one of the most oldest and most authentic food stores in all of Singapore. So let's check it out. Can I come in a minute? Uh, see, see, see. Just yeah, yeah. We we just want to try a lot of things. Ah, okay. All right. So okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, see, dal. Sure, you, Thank you. How is it? Uh, sorry? Oh, how is it? She was saying, uh, so the pricing on there is a little bit strange. Um, I didn't quite understand, but anyway, 450 for this, which isn't bad, right? The nars look amazing. Yeah. Um, I am nervous. Like, everything's quite warm. This but is dal, this is gobi. Yeah, exactly, right? Oh, the nars, look at that, mate. The way she makes them was incredible. Yeah, they look real nice. Oh, look at that, the way they break. We have a long bus journey tomorrow, and that's why we're sticking to vegetarian food. I'm not, I'm not being ill traveling again. All right, let's try the dal. That's very nice. Yeah? Mm. This is vegetable gobi. Yep. We just mix vegetables. Very nice, okay. Okay, this has settled me down quite a lot because I was very nervous. Yeah? Yeah. Aww. I was like, oh no, this is actually pretty nice. My turn. I want to eat some. Get your own, you talk. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was amazing. That was really, really nice. That store 149, that lady can cook. That and the biggest really tip, nice. 
we can give about Singapore is come here because food is expensive unless you're at the airport or you're at Hawker Centre. We just had two vegetarian dishes, two naans, and I'm stuffed, and that was four dollar fifty. I'm like so three pounds. stuffed right now. That was so delicious. Like it felt very filling, but you didn't have to eat that much. Like they were just perfect size. Perfect Amazing. size. Amazing. Great food. Yum. Look at that. Oh yeah. Delicious. Store number 149, check it out. Very nice, old airport boat. Very nice. It's very warm in here though, that's why my hair's a mess or whatever, but it's just, it's nice. They've got fans, they've got like cold drinks and stuff if you want them, so. Yeah. And also what we've noticed is we haven't seen any other foreigners here. So, you know, it's like Danny said, this is a very authentic market. Local. Um, it is a little bit early dinner time, it's like 5, 5.30, so about, I'd say two thirds of the stores are closed right now. They open up mainly for breakfast and lunch. Yeah. So yeah, if you're, if you're looking for good quality food, for very cheap, definitely check out Old Airport Road Hawker Centre. Yes. Yes. All right, let's see what else we can do. I mean, I'm pretty stuffed, I don't know about you. Maybe uh, dessert. Okay, all right, lady has spoken. I will partake. Yeah. Okay. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming with us today. I know it was quite short, but due to dietary restrictions, uh, only eating halal, being vegetarian, etc., um, options were quite limited. Uh, if you're into pork, if you love that stuff, definitely come here. So many Chinese vendors, so much options for that. But with halal food, with vegetarian food, there was about two we counted. Yeah some options but a lot of it was you know if you're vegetarian or, or only have halal things then you know it's usually like rice with veg or something which is really nice usually yeah, i'm but fine then, with that but if you're not then it might yeah. be a bit difficult yeah. it says vegetarian it's meat but then what they do they also do like pork fried rice um, yeah. And it, they use like the same worktop, which is fine. Obviously, it's their prerogative; they can do what they like. Um, but if you're kosher or you're halal, then it's probably not best. But it's up to you, of course. Although there was quite a lot of places that were closed, so we don't know if maybe some of those were halal because there were something really impressive actually. Is with the trays that you use, you have to like put them to the side or whatever, just like in any canteen. Um, on the trays that you have to put them on. There are halal ones and non-halal ones, so they get cleaned in with the right things, basically. Yeah. So they they do have that factor in there, which is yeah. really great. So yeah. I'm guessing either at lunchtime or breakfast is probably a bit more of like a hustly bustly right. bit. You're right. Where there's more options. Yeah. As for those sweet tooth ones among you, um, there was one place which looks really good, but he's like, "Mate, I'm sold out. Yeah. It's like six o'clock. What do you want from me?" Uh, so anyway, yeah, we wanted to try. Well, I don't know. It just it was all gone. Yeah, he sold um, muffins. Yeah, but then but then he had cookies for about eleven dollars, and I was like, mm. 
but the muffins were like two dollars anyway thank you for joining us we have a massive long day tomorrow we are going to Kuala Lumpur yeah. um, we are doing that journey by bus because oh, it's a whole thing I'm not gonna get into it we're doing that journey by bus so if you want to follow along then watch next ciao for now ciao for now toodles, toodles. So what are we doing today, babes? We're going to the Hawker Centre to have some food. Very excited. Hi. So what are we doing today, babes? We're going to the Hawker Centre in Singapore. Super excited because I'm hungry and there's food there. Woo! As for those sweet tooth, yeah. Welcome. 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 Welcome.